I'ma stay myself to the end. Stay myself to the end. Why you trying to act like we friends? Yo, hello? It's Pavikas from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to disintegrate a clip. If you want to enhance your editing skills, then check out our website, where we have magnificent editing packs, and the link is in the description. Let's begin. First, you need to have your clips synced. You can also have your color correction done, but that's optional. I personally have my ghost color correction from a tutorial that I did not long ago. This is how it looks. I turned off a couple of settings, by the way, as you can see. I only have it on one clip. On the other clips, I just have no color correction. I also have a motion tile with output set on 74. We can now begin to disintegrate this clip. First, you need to duplicate this layer, so press Ctrl D. And now you need to roto brush it. So I only want to roto brush from here up to the second clip. So I'm just going to Control shift d this, it will cut it. Go to pre-compose this layer. I'll just call it Cordy. Go to this uh, layer right here. And now press this twice and pick up the roto brush tool. And you can start the roto brush. We have a roto brush tutorial already on the channel. So you should check it out because I'm not going to teach it here right now. All right, so I actually roto brush the whole Cordy clip. You don't need to do a really good job of roto brushing this because it will be disintegrated. Now we can go back here to Cordy layer. In the Cordy layer, you can Control c this then come back here and control V and now put it below your roto brush delete the roto brush and refine edge delete the background that we had for for this disintegration I'm going to use a cool background so I'm going to press control alt Y cut this out now I will add ghost CC from another tutorial that I've done the only things you will need to change is you will need to go to S motion detect but I would recommend setting this to two also you don't even need to have this background this is just make it look cooler now I'm gonna go add as the soul Luma, keyframe this, press T, keyframe the opacity, and make the opacity 0 right here. Now press U, and now go to the ending of the clip, make the opacity 100, and as the solve Luma percentage, make it 100. Select both the keyframes, and press F9, go to the solve percentage, I'll go to the graph here, I'll make the graph something like this, I'm gonna go to the opacity graph, make it pretty sharp. We have done our background, now let's start adding effects on top of the character. So this is my character layer. The Cardi. First effect I'll add is Deep Glow. I'll go somewhere maybe here. I'll make the exposure zero. I'll keyframe it. Add disintegration effect, which is card dance. Now you can very much mess around with a lot of the settings in here, but I'll show you how I'll make it on this clip. Go to rows and columns, and at the start, I'll keyframe them, and then I'll set them to one here, and then one here. I'll go to gradient layer one. You need to set this gradient layer to the layer that you have your roto brushed clip out. So this is mine. Let's go to Z position. And this is where we will get the disintegration effect. For this, I'll use intensity V slope 1. You can use different ones if you want. I'll go to multiplier, I'll set it to 1, and I'll keyframe both of these. Now we can leave that off for now. Uh, I'll add more effects. I'll add S flicker. At the start, make the S flicker amplitude 0 and keyframe it. Add brightness and contrast. I have set it to minus 39. You can just not even add this. Add CC vignette. CC vignette really helps you get rid of the poorly roto brush part. Make it 186. Make it 50 on angle of view. When we move one frame forward from deep glow, we can make the exposure really big because this is where it will start to disintegrate. So I'll make it 3.5. I'll go somewhere in the middle and I'll make the S flicker amplitude 0.2. I'll go close to the end, somewhere here. I'll make hard dance rows really big, but not too big. I'll make them 163. I recommend keeping it somewhere from 100 to 200. This one 158. These settings I recommend keeping close to each other as well. Here, I'll go one frame forward. I'll make deep glow exposure just to one. I'm gonna move like one frame forward as well. I'll make multiplier 20.5 and I'll make the offset 3.3. He starts to disintegrate. I'll move another frame forward. Here I'll make the rows really big because this is the ending. I'll make the rows 416 and this one I'll make like 360. I'll set the multiplier just a little higher so 28 and I'll make the offset really huge here so 10. The particles are like very spread out now. Here I'll show you a way easier way and not a technical way to disintegrate a clip. So here we have Travis Scott clip. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer and we can just close out the first layer here. And again, we need to roto brush out Travis Scott. So again, you need to pre-compose this, call it whatever you want. I'll just call Travis roto brush or something like that. And now I'll go to roto brush. I'll be back after the roto brush. So I finished roto brushing. This doesn't need to be a good roto brush at all because this is a disintegration effect. Mine is pretty bad and we can turn on the background layer again. We're going to make this very easy, so just add card dance. We'll make it so this clip disintegrates out, and this clip of Travis disintegrates in. So I'll go at the start of the clip, I'll make the rows 121 maybe, and columns 
33. Again, just mess around with the settings. Make the gradient layer the layer of your clip. So for me, it's Travis. Again, you need to go to Z position. Here, you need to set a source. I'm going to try out intensity 1. At the start, I'll make multiplier like 7. I'll make the offset 8.6. Then I'll keyframe them. Also add deep glow or any other glow will work. Keyframe the exposure. Press U on the layer. Go somewhere to the middle of the clip. Make the car dance 0. Offset 0. Exposure 0. Make everything 0. Select all of the keyframes and press F9. Alright, now let's do the graphs. Press on the multiplier one and go to the graph. I'll just make the graph somewhat funky. Go to the offset to graph. Make this one basically the same as the last one. And let's go to deep glow. This one I'll just point down. I'll extend this here. We have disintegrated this clip in. Now I want to disintegrate this clip out. Go somewhere to the middle and I'll press Control Shift D. I'll just delete the deep glow layer. I'll keep these settings as they are. I'll go back to the Z position. I'll keep it intensity one here and I'll press U. You can delete all the keyframes if you want. Keyframe these. Go to the ending of your layer and here I'll make them 12.4 and I'll set 8.9. It might be very different for your clip. He starts to disintegrate, but you can still see his body. And here I'm gonna make it so he disintegrates and there's none of this body left. What we will need to do is actually to content aware fill out. This is where we'll need to use the background layer. I'm going to control shift D so I'll cut it out. We can close this mask out for now and we need to go to our pen tool. With our pen tool we just mask out the character. You really don't need to do a really good job at this. Like you see I'm kind of wonky with it. You don't need to take a lot of time on this. Maybe like this. I'll go a couple of frames forward. I'll also press M. Keyframe our mask path. I'll just press on mask feather so I can move these. And I'll just keep going so this part looks great. Here maybe I can tweak it a little. I have tweaked up this mask. We're going to need to go to content aware fill. And uh, let's go to the start of our clip by the way. Go to our mask here and make it subtract. So like this side right here. Bring it right here because we're going to need to direct the content aware fill where we want to fill it up. All you need to do is just press generate fill layer. This will take some time but it shouldn't be long. I am done with generating my fill layer so as you can see there is no more Travis there it doesn't need to look perfect by the way extend these out we can select this back again so we can show it again Travis disintegrates out and he's not behind him so it looks very cool for the last disintegration I'll disintegrate the whole clip this is a very good clip to the disintegrate because the car is going into us here we're going to just add a car to dance as usual I'll go somewhere almost to the middle of the clip but closer to the ending a little I'll make the rows 169 and columns 152. I'll go to the gradient layer, set the layer to the layer you want to disintegrate, go to the Z position, and source, we'll use intensity 1 here as well. And at the start, make the multiplier 0. Keyframe multiplier and offset. Now let's go to the ending of the clip, set multiplier to 6.8 and the offset to 6.6. .6. Press U, select all of the keyframes and press F9. Let's go to the graph of the multiplier now, pull this a little here, pull this down, not too much. Go to the offset graph. As usual, make the offset graph really similar to the multiplier graph. I hope this video was helpful. If you didn't understand anything, then let us know. You can also join our Discord server where we can get back to you way faster and other people can help you there as well. Alright, have a fun and productive day. See ya.